G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. I've already made two keto bread recipes. First one being full of nuts and seeds, which makes it healthy, but it gives you all those good fats that we all love and enjoy. Second one being keto bread in a mug. Literally took just about two minutes to prepare, and it was super simple and tasty. This one's a lot different. This one's basically just plain white bread, but it only has up to one gram of carbs per slice as opposed to about 30 for normal white bread. And this is the first of two that I'm doing in a row. I'm doing another one tomorrow, which is a more traditional keto bread, but it's a delicious one, which I know that you'll love. And I'll leave a link of that video at the end of this video. So if it's live by the time you watch this video, it'll be at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Plus I'll leave a link to all my lovely keto recipes at the end of this video. So join me today as I make my version of a white sliced keto bread. Okay, so we're going to start this off with some eggs. Now I've got seven large eggs, so I'm going to place those into a bowl. Now one of two steps to make sure that this bread doesn't taste or smell like egg when it's done, this being the first one is make sure the eggs are at room temperature. And that's very important. If they're going cold, that's just one step closer to having a bread that honestly smells and tastes like egg. And I've made the mistake before while testing out this recipe. So as long as it's at room temperature, you'll be just fine. And with a hand or stand mixer, just simply mix the eggs up on high for about two minutes until they're completely combined. Okay, so once we've beaten our eggs through, next I'm going to add some melted butter. Now I've melted this in the microwave, and this is half a cup's worth, and just make sure it's not hot or too warm because you don't want to cook the eggs at the same time. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of coconut oil. And as always, I'll leave a list of the ingredients in the description of this video. And just simply mix that through for another minute or so just till it's well combined. Okay, and the next thing we're going to add are two cups worth of almond flour. So for the amount we're using, they're basically carb free as well as basically sugar-free compared to normal flour. So this is 100% almond flour. So I'm going to add two cups worth of that to our bowl. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. And this will just help everything rise nicely. So it's basically taking the place of the yeast that you'd use in normal bread. And for our final ingredient, we're going to use some xanthan gum. Now this is a, also a gluten-free product. And this is, works as like a combiner. So if you don't use it, basically if, when you get to slice up your bread, it's going to crumble and fall apart. This is what helps combine it and keep it all together. So without it, this keto bread will just simply fall apart when you go to slice it. And as you can see, it doesn't have any of the extra crap that doesn't matter. Basically no calories, no carbs, no sugars. It just does as it says. Now it's pretty easy to find in most health food stores, but if you're not sure, just Google it for your local area. So I just need half a teaspoon worth. You don't need much. So one packet does last a long time. And lastly, this is bread, so we do want to add a little bit of salt just to enhance the flavor. So now it really is just a very simple matter of mixing it through until it's well combined. Okay, lastly, I've just got a loaf pan here and I've lined it with some non-stick parchment paper. So just simply, with a spatula, just place your mix into your loaf pan. Now you definitely don't want to do this by hand because it is very sticky. It's not your usual bread. It's more of like a cake batter consistency. But trust me, in the end, it's going to work out. So just simply spread it out, just so it's yeah, relatively even. And with the baking paper, just make sure you've got this overhang here. It makes it easy just to pull it straight out once it's done. Because that will be the second secret of having that no egg taste to this bread. Basically, once it's done, we're going to stick a skewer on the inside. It comes out clean, it's ready. But as soon as it's ready, we're going to take it out and put it on a wire rack to cool down. We don't want to keep on cooking. So the faster it cools down, the less egg taste there will be. So 
By following the two steps of having warm eggs or room temperature eggs and the fact that it's going to cool down very fast, you don't taste the eggs at all. And the first time I tried this, when I experimented, I made both mistakes and well, yeah, I didn't finish it. <laughs> but then I did it again with the warm eggs and letting it, let it cool down pretty fast. I'd even recommend putting it in the fridge. You get zero egg taste whatsoever. Okay, so we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. And at the 45 minute mark, we're going to put a skewer on the inside. If it comes out clean, it's ready. Okay, so you've got to keep in mind, not all ovens are the same. So it can vary by up to 10 minutes. And as you can see, it started to split on top, plus it's also dried up on the top. And I've just done a test, but I'll do it again just for the camera. And I'm pulling it out. And as you can see, the skewer is nice and clean. That means it's ready. So at this point, all you have to do is just take it straight out of the oven. And as I said before, the second stage to make sure you don't have that egg taste is to take it straight out. And we're going to just place it onto this wire rack. So just take away the baking paper, just slide it off, and that will cool down a lot faster this way. Just get rid of these little bits on the side. So that'll cool down straight away. And then you won't have that egg taste, but you'll have a nice fluffy keto bread. Okay, so I've had it cooling down for about an hour or so now. So all you have to do is just slice into it with a regular bread knife. Now, for regular size, regular thin slice, type slices, you're looking at about one gram of carbs per slice. And considering you're looking at about 30 grams of carbs per slice of regular store-bought white bread, going down to one gram with no sugar, it's a massive difference. So even if you're not on a keto diet, it makes no difference because this is an incredibly healthy bread to have. You can toast it, you can have it as is. Here in Australia, you can have Vegemite, or if you're in America, peanut butter and jelly, completely up to you. Or you can even have it by itself. And that is delicious. There's zero egg taste, mean zero. I cannot taste it. So by just following those simple steps with the eggs, you're going to have zero taste of the eggs or smell. It's incredibly healthy and no matter what topping you use, it's going to taste simply delish. Thank you.